Hi there everyone and thanks for watching. Well, I've never done one of these videos before so I thought I would uh, do my maiden video um, of my new BMW GTL 1600 2018 model and I picked it up from the dealership. The guys at Pro Cycles, thank you very much for everything. Great service there. Uh, picked it up yesterday and very, very excited. Um, amazing bike. Uh, can stand there and look at it all day, actually. I mean, I've just done on just on 60 kilometers now, so she's uh, really hasn't done many Ks at all. Uh, this particular one is what they call the GTL 1600 Special. And that's special with a Z, S P E Z I A L, special. And this particular one is an option 719 uh, with the tan leather seats and then the backrest. Uh, and this particular one also uh, has the BMW Forge racing wheels, uh, which apparently are, are a lot lighter than the standard wheels that come on the GTL, uh, making it a little bit more nimble. Uh, in and out of cornering and turns and, and, and so forth. Uh, it's a beautiful blue. I'm not sure of the exact name of that colour, but it's uh, it's like a, a blue with a speckle in the paint, and uh, it's really a beautiful colour. So I'll do a bit of a walk around uh, for those of you that don't know the bike. Um, the Special obviously comes with the chrome accents. So as you can see here, you've got chrome. Uh, up around the badge, different little chrome bits, um, and also the pinstriping down the paint just under the GTL badge there uh, that runs across the tank and then down and across the pannier. I just want to zoom in on this seat because I'm so in love with this seat. It's uh, an amazingly comfortable seat, unbelievable, and a real soft plush leather. Uh, it's just so really so nice to touch and, and, and really soft and to sit on and, and the backrest is also as the GTL insignia stitched into the leather you know with the option 719 badge up there as well or ticket um, it's probably about a 30 35 32 33 degree day here in Sydney um, so quite warm nice breeze on the uh, beautiful West Head lookout in the very northern suburbs of Sydney and you can see the backdrop view here which is just simply spectacular looking across to Palm Beach over there behind the trees and then across to the central coast head along and so forth Lion Island and uh, such a beautiful uh, I'm in the uh, Karingai National Park uh, which is quite a beautiful spot Anyway, back to the bike. Uh, you can see the um, amazing spotties that are on it as well. All the GDL models have that. I believe the GTs do as well. Uh, extremely bright lights. They're just wonderful. These are the blinkers and indicators that are tucked in under here. These long clear plastic things on the left and right. The adaptive headlights, uh, which if I'm not wrong, I believe BMW were the first to uh, Introduced the adaptive headlights uh, on a motorcycle. Um, quite an amazing feat where the headlights will actually turn into the corners with you as you ride at night. So to increase your vision and, and safety into cornering. Um, obviously the six cylinder engine, which is just such a beautiful motor. So smooth and uh, just purrs along you know, with a great note coming out of the exhaust as well, which is just beautiful. It's a view of the cockpit. switched off at the moment so I can turn it on and we'll start up the navigation the various controls and as you can see there I've done a whopping 97 kilometers so we haven't even done my 100 kilometers yet which is if you're watching it in miles I'm guessing it's probably somewhere about 60 55 miles I'll turn that off because there's a little buzzing going on and the ignition's on. This little gadget over here that I've installed here is actually to hold my cell phone or mobile phone while I'm riding. So I can see incoming calls, which also 
come up on the navigation system when you pair it by the Bluetooth. And I can answer it in the helmet. You have a little control here on the handle. Uh, There's a product by Senna. It's called an RC4 remote. And this links to the helmet, depending on which helmet you have or what Senna product you have. Uh, the product I'm using at the moment is uh, the C4 helmet, which is a shoe berth helmet. And that has the built-in headset and controls, so there's nothing exposed on the outside of the helmet, which is, I've had that for a couple of months now, and it's, I'm very, very impressed with it. It's a beautiful, beautiful helmet. I've just got a car pulling up behind me, so excuse the noise. Uh, but this allows you to do the controls, etc., from, uh, you know, without touching the helmet while you're riding. So if you volume up and down and so forth and, and turn your music on, and, and that, all, that can all be done uh, remotely via that control. Back to that beautiful seat, the backrest coming around. This is a back end view motorcycle. Massive amounts of luggage space. Uh, as you can see, I've got a jacket in there. I've actually got a briefcase in there as well. And um, plenty, plenty of storage. Absolutely, plenty of storage there. Which is good. The penny is also allow for a um, side. Uh, helmets to go in the side um, which is pretty awesome you can stick one of those on either side of the panniers um, so if you've got a two up second person you can also put their helmet in the, in the other side I believe the top box at the rear also can take two helmets if I'm not wrong obviously plenty of luggage there to um, when you're travelling and, and so forth so there's just another shot of those Forged rear wheels. <coughs> Excuse me. Quite a nice wheel. Enhance the look of the bike. I believe they're quite an expensive option. Option. This one was packaged like it is. Um, and from what I've been told, um, there's probably only about one to maybe three of these in Australia. Um, I haven't seen any other videos, that's why I thought I'd share this one with you guys. Um, uh, not in Australia anyway, I've seen some in, in the US and, and some other countries from different bike shows. But um, These vents, quite amazingly enough, I was talking about how hot it is here in, in, in Sydney today. We've got summer coming on, it's um, 1st of November actually today. These things are quite amazing. Um, I knew the bike had these and I, I thought I would try it out today as you just push them closed obviously for the, for the smooth stream obviously of, of air as you're cruising along and no buffeting etc etc but when it's a hot day on either side of the motorcycle these just simply pull out uh, and obviously turn around and uh, vacuum all the air straight into the rider you can see that that's done on both sides of the motorcycle very very effective I've got to tell you coming in it was just amazing uh, the amount of cool air that was blowing over you is wonderful because you're so protected and insulated on these bikes obviously with the windshield the windshield's an automatic windshield that goes up and down uh, by the push of a button on the handlebars and you can have it all the way down obviously which gives you some airflow uh, or you can have it uh, you know up if it's protecting you from rain and wind and stuff like that when you're on the highway, which is great. So, um, so some people walking past, beautiful spot for tourists to come to the National Park and take a walk around the cliff tops and that sort of stuff, which is great. Um, and a beautiful day for it. Coming around looking back at the exhaust. So it's got a dual exhaust on this bike and um, the three 
muffler exhaust holes there. The advertising for ProCycles, thanks again guys. Um, and what a note that comes out of that. Beautiful, smooth, and then when you open it up, still a new bike, but I have ridden one before. It had a few thousand Ks on it, of course, and once you get up to the four, five, six thousand RPMs, it um, really starts to come alive, the sound of that six cylinder engine, quite amazing. So guys, thank you for watching the video. I just thought I'd um, post it, and I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm not a great commentator, but um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you're thinking about getting one of these, they're a great bike. Uh, absolute pleasure to ride and uh, extremely comfortable. So I look forward to doing many kilometres or miles on this bike. Uh, very excited for some up, uh, upcoming road trips. Uh, that stuff's all detachable, by the way, as well. Excuse my hand. But uh, obviously the panniers of the push of a button can come off. The top box can come off as well. Uh, so if I'm riding solo and I just need the luggage for the side, I can clip this guy off. That's not a problem. Uh, this particular one also just I had fitted with a brake light in here, so that, that doesn't come standard. Um, this is an LED brake light that just is in addition to the rear tail light. Is down there, um, you know, just for more presence when I'm braking in traffic or, or what have you. But, uh, but that all unclips and comes off very easily. It's about a 10 second job. So nice and easy. Alright guys, thank you again. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, I guess click uh, like or subscribe or whatever one says, I suppose. Uh, but, uh, but enjoy and happy riding. Be safe. Okay.